<clears throat> Hello OCR students, we're looking at paper 3. Let's go into the structure, but also for me to give you my tips of how to nail paper 3 and make sure you can maximize your marks in paper 3. Let's focus on structure first. It's a two hour exam, that's 120 minutes. Very useful to know the minutes so then you can break down the allocation per question. All questions are compulsory. There are going to be two sections in this paper. All the questions in both section A and section B are compulsory to answer. No choices here. Section A is going to comprise of 30 multiple choice questions. Those multiple choice questions can be micro and macro. The key thing on those is to be quick, but you're going to have 30 of those to do. That's going to be right at the start of your paper three. Section B then goes to data response. You're going to have a variety of extracts with charts, with text, etc. Uh, and questions are going to be themed around those extracts there. Um, so that's going to be section B, which will comprise of a variety of short questions. Now, they won't necessarily come straight away. You'll have some to start off in section B, but those short questions can be scattered around section B. So uh, we don't know exactly where they're going to feature, but they are going to be 12 marks. Uh, in terms of uh, what they're going to count for. So you know that they're going to be worth 12 marks. You're going to have one 8 mark evaluate question within section B, two 15 mark evaluate questions in section B, and you know that it's going to be micro and macro based. So the questions that you get will be micro and macro in section A with multiple choice and in section B with your data response questions as well, in which case you know that you need to revise absolutely everything. You would have done paper one and paper two already, um, so you would have had that knowledge in your head, but you need to go over all of that content again for both micro and macro in preparation for paper three. Throughout this playlist, you'll see a variety of exam technique videos uh, to help you answer all of these kinds of questions. So make sure you watch those once you've finished watching this video to make sure you know exactly how to answer these different types of questions in paper three. What about the tips? Well, it's very important you follow my guidance here. 30 minutes should be your target time to answer these multiple choice questions. No more than 40 minutes. If you're getting to 40 minutes, then you know, you're, you've wasted a bit of time, to be honest with you, but you're allowed up to 40 minutes. My recommendation, though, is 30 minutes, a minute per question, and that should be fine, because there'll be some questions which you can answer literally in maybe 15, 20 seconds. There might be some which will require maybe a minute and a half, let's say, for you to use, but overall, if you average a minute a question, it should be fine, absolutely fine, and that means you'll be at 30 minutes by the time that you've finished section A and the 30 multiple choice questions. But the key is you've got to be fast, you've got to be accurate, so balance out speed and accuracy. But 30 minutes has to be your target time. So then you've got more time to do those longer section B questions which might require you to use those extracts in detail, i.e. requires you to read those extracts. So any time that you save here will be very valuable when you get onto section B. Um, when you get on to section B, recommendation is to do 15 minutes, uh, 15 minutes of time allocation for the short questions. Uh, you're looking for 15 minutes for the 8 mark evaluate question, 25 minutes for the 15 mark evaluate questions for both of those. 25 minutes for each, all right, is what you're looking for there. You will be pushed slightly for time, so you need to be prepared. Uh, this is all going to be quick, quick, quick. You don't have time to waste, really. You need to be very, very quick to make sure that you've got enough time to answer these questions properly. Bear in mind that if you save time, or you've done these multiple choice questions in 30 minutes, you're gonna have a bit more time to spend on doing these questions as well. So these times are assuming that you spend 40 minutes to do your multiple choice question. I've given you that flexibility there. Get into the extracts, yes. They're there to help you. They're there to be used, absolutely. Some questions might ask you to explicitly use them, in which case you will need to get into them, enjoy them, use them when you're answering your questions especially on these evaluate based questions, um, but some questions might not need them. Read the question carefully to see whether you need to explicitly reference them or whether you don't need to explicitly reference them. If you don't need to, then your own knowledge might be absolutely fine. Your own application might be absolutely fine. Or even if it doesn't say use them, you might still want to use them depending on what the question is asking. The extracts might still be very useful in answering that question, in which case still use it. But questions which require you to use the extracts. You've got to explicitly quote and use that extract material. That's very important. Whether it's a short question or a longer essay question, doesn't matter. Read that question carefully to see whether you need to use the extracts and in what detail you need to use the extracts. But they're there to help you. They are there to give you context. 
They're there to get you into what the questions are, to give you a flavour of exactly you know, where you're going to be focusing your answer and what kind of theme you're going to be focusing around. Remember though, even though section B has got lots of extract material, it's very applied in that sense, it's still theory first. That's what economics is. That's what the examiner will be marking, your knowledge of economics first. Theory first, then apply. Your application should always be to back up the points you're making. Whatever side of the argument you're talking on, your application should come once you've made your theory or throughout your theory. Always theory first. Don't go application and then theory. That's very important. Very tempting to go application first, right, when you've got all this data material, extract material. But don't fall into that trap. The application is to help you not to basically form your essays with. And don't over-prepare. Now, this is going to be a big thing for paper three. Too many students will over-prepare. They'll learn about all these different themes, all these different scenarios in the world. Totally unnecessary. Prepare in the same way, in terms of the content that you'll be revising. The same content that you learnt in paper one and paper two. That's what's going to be assessed in paper three, that content. Nothing random that's thrown at you, no way. No way. And what's going to be assessed are the same skills that you've already used in paper one and paper two. No new skills all of a sudden in paper three. Nothing random that's going to be chucked at you, no. Same skills, same content, okay? That's all. This is a slightly different style of exam paper in the way it's structured. But the same skills, the same content. So don't over-prepare. Trust your skills. Trust your content. Remember all the exam technique and the structure here, the tips. Watch the videos uh, coming after this one to really nail the exam technique for the specific questions and you'll be absolutely fine. There is nothing that's going to shock you in this paper at all. Nothing to be worried about, nothing extra that you need to prepare for this paper. Trust your content, trust your skills and you'll be fine. So that covers the structure and my crucial tips for paper three. Now watch all the remaining videos in this playlist to gain the specific exam technique for all these kinds of questions that will come up as well. Thank you so much for watching guys, I'll see you in those videos.